So after um after Sierra's very 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 um risque outfit that she wore to the Vanity Fair party um she decided or to Vanity Fair I don't know if it was a show or party whatever she decided um after she faced all the backlash to come on um TikTok come on social media and put a sheet up to her neck almost like a you know are y'all happy now Okay, y'all saw that I was dressed like this. So, you know, let me go ahead and put this on so y'all can finally be quiet about the things that I'm wearing. And I, I had to give my perspective. Okay, I've been waiting on, you know, this. I've been kind of contemplating a lot on if I wanted to speak on this anymore after I done talked about Sierra when it came to Russell with the whole song that she had. But it, it, it's just something that I had to bring my conversation. I, I had to be a part of the conversation. And I'm going to tell you why. There's a lot of women out there, right, who are seen in a certain light and have the audacity to be upset with people that hold them to a higher standard. That's a compliment. It's a, compl it's a compliment when women can look at you and see you as set apart, different. They don't see you as the norm. OK, what they might expect from, you know, a, a city girl or this person or that person, they look at you differently. And it's only because of the things that you have shown. A lot of people are saying, you know, her, her outfit was very risque, very, very, very. OK, she basically had nothing on. Let's just be clear. She, she basically had nothing on. If she would, if, the, if somebody came and cut the straps of the mesh, we would have seen a whole business. There was nothing left to the imagination anymore. And a lot of women were speaking up about it. And there were people who were on her side, like her fan base or whatever. And a lot of her fan base was even against it. But there were people on her side who were saying like, hey, you know, why are you dressing like this? Or, hey, why are you doing this? And then the people who um, agreed with her we're saying, oh, well, you know, if it was anybody else, y'all wouldn't have nothing else to say. And you know why? Because you're the one who came to these women talking about a prayer. You did. You came from being with the player from the Himalayas to having a man who seems honorable, respectful, hardworking, selfless taking care of a child that does not belong to him. You came to these women and talk, talked about prioritizing their relationship with God so that they can pray and obtain the type of relationship that you have. So you are held to a higher standard. And why are you trying to clap back at the people who have shown the utmost respect towards you? It's a compliment to be set apart. It's a compliment to be different. That's a compliment. Back in the day, a lot of women would take that as a compliment. We don't see you like the rest of them. Why are you doing this? We don't see you doing this. Why are you doing that? There was a lot of people who had a lot to say. There was some people who even said, oh, you know, well, her husband's right behind her. So if he don't have a problem, why should we have a problem? Well, I mean, I'm not necessarily going to speak for that person. Obviously, he was sending, he, he took pictures with her and stuff like that. But if he was so proud of that image that you displayed on that night, how come he didn't post it on his social media? How come it's only on yours? Regardless of what a lot of people say, men, uh, let me say this, okay? Before I get into what I was going to say, let me just say this, right? Can you do whatever it is that you want to do? Absolutely. As a woman, you have the ability to put on whatever it is that you want to put on. You can do it. The question is, should you though? You see, when a woman is um, in a relationship with her husband, her boyfriend, whoever she's in a relationship with, her holding back or her, um, you know, preferring to dress in a certain way that is not, and there's a difference between being um, sexy and being you know, like the day you were born. Okay. This outfit, she was like the day she was born. 
having leaving things to the imagination for other men is showing respect to your own man. It's showing reverence to your man. Yeah, I know that I have a beautiful body. Yeah, I know that, you know, people fan over me. I know that I'm a superstar, but these are for your eyes only. It doesn't mean that you have to abide by that. People have the right to do whatever they want to do. You can do whatever you want to do. It's just, what should you do? The reason why I wanted to talk about this too is because um, I had seen on social media when um, the both of them went to a place, you know, they went to, I think it was a prison or a jail or whatever. And they were like, you know, having praise and worship in the, in the prison or in the, in the jail and they were worshiping together and there was a lot of men there and the, the you know the men were singing and all this kind of stuff and it's like on one end of the spectrum yes they're there and they're happy to see Russell and they're happy to see you because you are superstars but at the same time you're giving them something an image you're putting it out there for them to feel like you're a woman who belongs to them as well if you know what i mean because when they see you, they no matter if you put on this sheet, no matter what you put on at this point, they've already seen it. There's nothing left to the imagination. And again, as women, you can do whatever you want to. But should you? Should you walk around, uh, uh, you know, knowing that you're married to this person? In the intimate spaces and, and the intricacies that he gets to see within you and from your body is not only for him, it's for the world too. How does that set him apart? How does that make him feel special? Yes, he might be the only person that has access to it, but he's not the only person who's seen it. And the main reason why, again, why people have a problem with what she is doing, regardless of if it's a city girl or this girl or that girl, is because a lot of people are playing both sides, right? And like she can go to churches now, I'm sure. And they're going to sit her right on the front pre front row because of because of her celebrity. But if a woman who regularly goes to church is wearing something that's a little too too tight, they're going to be giving her the stink eye. Think about that. Celebrity doesn't step in front of um, morality. It doesn't step in front of um you know, class, integrity. For a lot of these people, it does, but it shouldn't. A lot of women look at Sierra and they looked at Russell as a wholesome family. And when they see you making songs about being single, you know, bigging up the single women, you know, we don't need no man. And, you know, dressing the same way that they see the city girls dressing, they're like, well, what makes you different? There were women in the comment sections like, oh, you know, yeah, you need to get you a Russell that he not going to tie you down. And he not going to, you know, tell you you can't dress like this. And he not going to, you know, stop you from being you. Keep on looking, honey. Keep on looking for that. Because the same men that you want to be able to do that are the same men that you talk about. Oh, they weak. Oh, they this. Oh, they that. Oh, they. It's terrible. It's terrible. There's nothing wrong with being classy. There's nothing wrong with leaving things to the imagination. And I think that people think that just because you, you know, out there, like the day you was born, that makes it attractive. Or that makes it um, like sexy. Oh, yeah, she looks sexy because she's all out there. No, it doesn't make it doesn't mean that. There's fashion that you can wear that says, wow, she looks stunning. She looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. And we have to talk about her. But it's not that. And then it's starting to it's starting to give that you want the conversations to keep going on and on. But at what cost? Because not only are people talking about you, but they're also talking about your your husband's leadership and they're questioning his leadership based upon the way that his queen is moving. His wife is moving, his balance is moving. As women, we're representatives for our our men. You know, when I was growing up, my grandma used to always say, you know, you better when you go outside, one, you don't know who knows me. So you better, you know, act right because you never know what news is going to come back to me. But two, you represent me. 
And then as women, when you grow up and, and you grow, that transforms into your husband. Now you're a representative of him and your children are representative are, are representatives of the both of you. So as you represent him, people are questioning his leadership skills. Just like if you see somebody, a girl who's going off on somebody in the store and she's sitting there with her man, everybody looks to the man like, you, you don't got it? What's going on? You can't calm her down? You can't tame this? You can't fix this situation? It's the same thing. And what I was saying about a lot of people playing both sides is that a lot of people are uh, you know, painting this narrative of this wholesome picture when it's convenient to be the crowd favorite. Oh, she's so nice. She prays. Oh, she's so nice because, you know, she says she's a Christian or, oh, she's so nice because she does this and she does that. But then at the same time, you're doing things that we can't tell the difference of who's who. Are you spiritual? Are you this? Are you that? And I'm not saying that that resonates only with the, the clothes that you wear, but in my opinion, this is only my opinion. When you are in a state of reverence, there's just things that you cannot align with because it doesn't match the energy that you are holding or withholding on the inside. My opinion. That's my opinion. And that's why a lot of people think uh, the belief, the whole belief system is, it, it, you know, is a gimmick. Or joke because it's so easy to, for people to be within it or be around it and make a mockery of things. And then there's people applauding it. I don't get it. But that's this again, this is my opinion. Okay. This is my opinion. I would like to hear your opinion on this in the comment section down below. This is not a conversation, you know, trying to check nobody. Again, people can do whatever it is that they want to do. As long as they look in the mirror and they're happy with themselves, kudos to you. However, but when you do things, there are going to be people who are going to look at you side eye because of how they saw you and how you presented, you are now doing something contrary. And we have to be able to hold each other accountable. We have to be able to hold ourselves accountable too and know what we're doing. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.